to Lamb Learning. Hello! Today I was exploring Adventure Bay and I wanted to find my way home but I got a little bit lost so I found a policeman and he pointed me in the right direction and his name was Chase. Apparently he's in a TV show called Paw Patrol and as a thank you for helping me I told him that when I got home I was going to draw a picture of him and put it on my YouTube channel. So me and you are going to draw a picture of Chase from Paw Patrol. Now he might look like a bit of a complicated character to draw but I reckon I can find a nice easy way that we can all draw him. So let's get started. As always we're going to begin with the head. Now I'm going to find a light brown orangey colour and I think I am going to use my paints today to do this. Remember if you're using paints ask permission from whoever is in charge first. That could be your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, your carers. Make sure to ask before you start using paints. Right so let's get the head done. I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw two little round circles. So I'm going to look for kind of the middle of the face and I'm going to draw one little circle there, not too big. And then another little circle there. And then I am going to colour all of this in. You can join along with me. As always, don't worry if you go outside of the lines. If you can keep it inside the line, that will be great. But we're just practicing and learning how to draw here, so don't worry too much. It's all about having fun. Right, so we've got our big orange circle. Next, I'm going to get a brown colour. And we're going to use that for the nose. And I'm going to draw a triangle. So you got one eye, the other eye, and then just below the eye, I'm going to draw a line across there. And then this is an upside down triangle. So this it's going to be his nose. And then I'm also going to use the same colour to do a big small because the chase that I met today was a very happy chap. So that's his big small and he's got some dots on his nose. So we're going to go one, two, three dots there and one, two, three dots there. Then we're going to get a slightly lighter brown. If you're using paints you can mix in some white paint to make your brown a little bit lighter. And what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a line right down the middle, the middle of his face. Now that brown still looks a bit dark so I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Like I said add a bit more white paint to it Ask an adult and they can help you do this. There we go. And I'm going to just do a line. I'm going to paint that line down the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to go around the top and to just to that side of his face. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And I'm going to colour this in. So you got that middle line, you're going to go up and then you're going to go around the edge to here and then you're going to do the same on the other side, around the edge to there. Then we are going to colour two big circles in the middle because those are his eyes. And then we're going to get a dark brown again or a black colour and we're going to put a dot right in the middle of his pupils and then we're going to put a line above his eye because these are his eyebrows so we're going to put one line there and one line there and once we've got this colour we're going to start drawing his hat so we're going to put a line right across the top because that's going to be the peak 
of his hat. Then what we're going to need is, um, oh, we've got to give him a neck. So let's use the orange again. And let's put under his mouth, put one line, two lines, and then join them up like that. And then we're going to get our black color again. And we're going to put a line under his neck. Because this is going to be his dog color. Now, what do we need next? I think we need the color blue. Because his hat is in blue and his um, clothes are in blue. So let's find a nice blue. And his hat, we're going to do this. It's, um, we're going to put one line one side. And another line the other side. Can you see that? So you've got a line either side. And then we're going to put a dot in the middle. And then we're going to connect this to the middle. And then down there. And that is the shape of his hat. But before we colour all this in, we're going to draw an upside down triangle for where his badge is going to go. So we're going to draw a line across. And we'll put a dot there. We'll go down and down. And then we're going to just colour in the corner like that. And then colour in the rest of the hat. And that is going to be his badge. As he's like police badge. Right, you can colour the rest of his hat in. And he has a yellow line across the top top of his hat so let's just add that in as well and that's gonna go oh just over the top of the black there just like that right are we missing anything i think we are we haven't done his ears so i need to get the brown color again for him and then so his ears are going to go on either side of his hat. So we're going to draw one line up here and one line up there. And then we're going to draw a line down to his head and another line down to his head. Now, before we color that in, we need a pink color for the inside of his ears. And we're going to draw another triangle for inside of his ears, just like that. And we'll do a triangle on this side as well. And then we're going to get our brown again and colour in the rest of his ears. Take your time. No rush. You take however long you need to do it. All right. If you think I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Pause the video, do your colouring in or your drawing and then press start again when you're ready to go. Right, so that is Chase's face. But we need to do his body. So we're going to get our blue colour again. And how should we do this? Um, right, we're going to draw one line out there. Again, it's like another, it's a bit of a triangle. Kind of. We're going to do one line out and one line out either side. Can you see how I did it? And then we're going to put a dot in the middle. And then we are going to connect that side to the dot and that side to the dot. And we're uh, just like his hat, we're going to draw where his badge is because his badge comes in just below his dog collar. Can you see what I did? Around, it's like... Again, it's like an upside down triangle. Can you see how I did it? Right. Then we're just going to color in his clothing. Just like that. And he's got a star on his badge. So we're going to need yellow paint again. And to draw the star, you draw and down oh you can't see that very well okay what we need to do 
The inside of his badge is blue. So let's get our blue again. And inside, we're just going to paint it like this. Can you do that? If any, if any of this is difficult, ask an adult to help. Right. Now we're going to get our yellow again. We're going to try and paint a little tiny star. In fact, we won't even do a star. We'll just do some lines. So I'm going to draw one line. And then I'm going to do another line like that. So one line at the top. And then two lines going up. Can you see how I did it? So one at the top and two at the bottom. It's almost like the letter Y upside down. In fact, do that. Draw the letter Y upside down. And then when you've done that, where you can see these gaps either side, just put another little line either side, and there you go. You've got your star. Now, if you can find a grey colour, we could just add this, because that's the bit that holds the badge in place. And we could even just go around the badge with the grey paint. Just to colour it in. See what I did? Oh, and he also... No, I won't do that. Right, let's now do his legs. So, we can see either side we've got this um, upside down triangle. And I'm going to draw one line like that. And another line like that. These are going to be his front legs. And then I'm going to do it again on the other side. One line there. And then another line there. And then we're going to draw a line across at the bottom. Can you see what I did there? And then I'm going to colour that all in. You copy what I'm doing, but take your time. Like I said, you can always pause the video if I'm going too fast. And now we need the orange again, the same orange that I used to colour his face. And we need that because we're going to draw his feet. Uh, we're going to go one squashy circle. Imagine it like a football that's been sat on. It's been squished. So that's one squashy circle for his foot and another squashy circle for his foot. And then I'm going to get my brown paint again and I'm going to put one, two lines there and one, two lines there, and those are going to be for his toes. Um, and then I think we're going to do the bottom of his body. Um, and we're just going to color this in. We're going to put a line here. You see, like so, halfway between the legs, we're just going to put a line, and I've got a lot, a little bit darker blue. the bottom of his body and all we need to do now is his feet at the back so we're going to get our brown again and I what the best way of doing this I'm going to get a line and just go off of there and I'm going to do it on the other side and just go off of there can you see what I did and then you're going to get your orange again And just to, on either side of the legs, we're going to draw the letter C. And then we're back with C on that side. And then we're going to colour that in. And then we're going to get our brown again. And colour in the rest of his legs. And give him toes up here as well. So those are his back legs. And those are his front legs. And then if you want to be really clever. And put a bit more detail into your drawing. Now you don't have to. Because you could, if you've drawn it just like that. You could be really, really happy with your drawing. But if you want to do a bit more. If you're really enjoying drawing Chase. Let's put a bit more detail into him. 
So I'm going to get my dark brown colour and I'm going to go all around him just to give him an outline. So all around the edges, I'm going to draw an outline for him. All around his face. Just like this. And then we're going to go down. And we're going to... Just draw outlines all around the body. All around the edges. And I almost forgot his ears. Let's put his ears up there. Oop. And that is Chase. And let's write his name. So we're going to do the letter C. So we're going to start and we're going to go up. Then around and down and back up again. That is a C. Then we're going to do a H. We're going to do one line going down. And then starting from the middle, we're going to go across and down. And then we're going to do the letter A. We're going to draw a circle. And then on this side, we're going to put a line. That's an A. And then we need an S. And this is a bit like a snake. So... We're going to start up by the A and we're going to go up, down, but then when we get to the middle of the A, we're going to go across like a wiggly worm and then curve back. It's almost like two letter C's. So a letter C going that way and then the letter C goes that way. And last of all, we got the letter E. And we're going to draw a squishy circle like that. And then we're going to give it kind of like a tail. And that is how you spell Chase, how did you do? Did you have fun? Great! Join me again soon for more drawing videos. Bye! Little Lamb Learning